We have team coverage tonight, bringing in sports director Matt Reynoldson. He joins us here in studio and News 4 Tucson's Jenna Fink is live on campus right now. Let's begin with Matt. Matt, it is a done deal tonight. Yeah, Eric, the contract is signed, sealed, and delivered. Washington Athletic Director Troy Dannon even flew down to Tucson and finalized that deal right at the kitchen counter. Jed Fish is Washington's new head football coach, a shocking development that leaves the Arizona Wildcats searching for answers less than a week after finishing with their highest final ranking in 25 years. This became a major development around 24 hours ago, and this afternoon, sources confirmed to News 4 Tucson that Fish was indeed taking the Washington job. By 520 Arizona time, it was official. The Huskies made the announcement, and minutes later, Fish was on a plane to Seattle. He leaves Arizona after just three seasons at the helm. Fish went 1-11 and 11 in his first year in Tucson, but this season the Wildcats reeled off seven straight victories to finish the year, ending with just the fourth 10-win season in school history. While this did come as a shock to the U of A, national voices were hinting at this being a possibility as early as Friday morning. That's when it became apparent Washington head coach Kalen DeBoer was leaving for Alabama. According to multiple reports, Fish interviewed for the job Saturday, had a second interview Sunday morning, and emerged as the Huskies' top candidate Sunday afternoon. And by the time anyone could bear down on those rumors, Fish was already picking out the purple visor. Here's the reported details of the contract, and it is lucrative. According to Bruce Feldman of The Athletic, Fish signed a seven-year deal worth an average of $7.75 million annually. Washington will also pay Arizona to buy out his contract. That's a $5.5 million price tag. So we know Jed Fish is headed to Washington. We know how this call came about. Now the question is, where do we go from here? We were at Arizona Stadium this afternoon. Jenna looking to answer that very question. That is where we find News 4 Tucson's Jenna Fink recapping an emotional afternoon. Hey, Matt. Well, we saw the raw reaction from players and coaches as they left to Arizona Stadium after an impromptu meeting. Coach Fish making it formally known that he is taking that Washington head coaching job. Now we're told that meeting lasted just about three minutes. Then Fish and his family took a flight to Seattle while the news still sinking in here for the Arizona players. All kinds of emotions being felt tonight. Heartbreak, shock amongst them, not only by the team, but by everyone who backs the A. It definitely hurts, you know, that's how college football is, I guess, now. Um, but just seeing how this team played this last year, was, it was a great time with our friends. We're doing good. You can't just be good and then just leave. It's just kind of... It's stupid. It's, it's kind of just ridiculous. Uh, I came in here freshman year. It was his first year. We were 1-11. Um, and then, you know, from what he's turned it around to now, first 10 win or fourth 10 win season in our school's history um just a little little disappointing but uh I'm wishing him all the best i mean i think it's kind of ridiculous that he left after just one good season like we were just starting to pick up here and now like we're kind of left in shambles the main thing i'm hoping now is that uh we get to keep fafita and mcmillan i hope that they don't go up to washington too so that's just lock them down and we're good as some of the fans hinted at, the conversation now shifts to the remaining players and coaches who might follow Fish to Washington, who will stay here, and who will just transfer to an entirely new program altogether. More questions than answers, certainly at this point. Now, coming up in sports, we'll hear some of the reaction from the Arizona players. Live at Arizona Stadium, Jenna Fink, News 4 Tucson. All right, thank you for that, Jenna, and clearly a very emotionally charged day for everyone involved, and that includes Jed Fish. The now former Arizona head coach put out a statement on X tonight saying in part that he's brokenhearted to leave Arizona and the Wildcats community, but he's proud of what he built here. And we'll have that up on our website later if you want to read the full long statement. And as Jenna mentioned, our team coverage continues in sports. We'll have reaction from Wildcats players as well as the national perspective on the move and where Arizona goes from here. For now, Eric, we'll send it back to you at the desk.